वेलकम बैक ऑल डी एस स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मिस्टर चेतन दिगंबर पवार वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी एट गोखले एजुकेशन सोसायटीज आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड सायंस कॉलेज जवार स्टूडेंट्स द टॉपिक ऑफ आवर टूडेज प्रेजेंटेशन इज द एनामोलो सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ इन एक्रेंथस स्टेम इन प्रीवियस टू प्रेजेंटेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एनामोलो सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ the anomalous secondary growth it is a deviation or the change in normal secondary growth this can happen due to the various reasons and this anomalous secondary growth it is mainly of two types adaptive and non adaptive type this anomalous secondary growth it is included in the tybsc botany paper second that is a plant diversity 4 in unit 3 anatomy of mumbai university syllabus now moving to our the topic that is anomalous secondary growth in acheranthus stem students acheranthus this is a very common weed or sometimes it is used as a ornamental plant this acheranthus it is a annual herb which is which belongs to the family amaranthaceae the anomalous secondary growth is due to the anomalous origin of cambium from the pericycle in this plant the the origin of cambium it takes place from the pericycle instead of the vascular tissues the young stem it shows the primary growth with conjoined collateral and open type of vascular bundles that means the vascular bundles are conjoined means xylem and phloem both are present in a same bundle collateral means when the xylem and phloem both are present laterally means side by side and open means when the vascular bundles they show the presence of cambium that's why it is open for the secondary growth then in addition to this vascular bundles in the form of ring the young stem it also shows the centrally placed two primary medullary bundles of the endarch type here in this diagram you can see these are the two centrally placed vascular bundles these vascular bundles they are called as the primary medullary bundles because they are present in the pith region and pith is also called as a medulla that's why they are called as primary medullary bundles and they are of endarch type endarch means when the protoxylem is present towards the inner side and metaxylem is present towards the outer side of the vascular bundle then that is called as a endarch type hence in this acheranthus stem the vascular bundles they are of endarch type during the secondary growth the fascicular and interfascicular cambium fuse to form a complete ring of cambium in normal way this secondary cambium ring it shows the normal activity that means the secondary xylem is produced intracambially in a large amount and secondary phloem it is produced extracambially in comparatively small amount then after some time the new ring of the cambium it develops from the pericycle now here the cambium shows the abnormal origin because it develops from the pericycle this abnormal ring of the cambium it shows the normal activity that means the secondary xylem is produced towards the intracambially while the secondary phloem it is produced extracambially the secondary phloem and secondary xylem they show the presence of the conjunctive tissue the activity of this ring is also limited and a new ring of the cambium it also develops from the pericycle that means the third ring of the cambium it develops again and this continues as a result of this the secondary phloem of the first cambium it gets sandwiched between the secondary xylem of the first and second ring this is called as the interxylary or included phloem in this diagram you can see here these are the these are the patches of secondary secondary phloem 
which show the presence of conjunctive tissue and secondary phloem it can be seen in the form of patches these are called as a included phloem or interxylary phloem and the secondary xylem the secondary phloem it is sandwiched between the it is sandwiched between the two secondary xylem regions that's why it is called as a interxylary or included type of the phloem then the secondary phloem is present in the form of patches with the conjunctive tissue forming the complete ring outside of the cambium the secondary xylem it also shows the presence of conjunctive tissue the pericycle is represented by the sclerenchymatous cells outside the vascular tissues and from this pericycle the new cambium ring it gets formed that's why it is called as a anomalous origin of the cambium in mature stem the cortex is differentiated into the outer chloranchyma and colenchyma then the parenchyma and the innermost endodermis the colenchyma is present below the ridges while the chloranchyma is present only below the furrows the colenchyma it is a tissue which gives the mechanical support while the chloranchyma it is involved in the process of photosynthesis the parenchyma is present below this layer and the innermost layer of the endodermis is present then the important features of this acaranthus stem can be the first one is that the presence of the two primary medullary bundles in the p3 region which are called as a primary medullary bundles then the origin of the cambium it is of anomalous type but the activity of the cambium it is of normal type the development of included or the interxylary phloem takes place the anomalous secondary growth it is of non adaptive type because it does not have any contribution towards the adaptation of the plant thank you